money and alcohol, a minimalism perspective. So actually the second video that I ever made for this YouTube channel was called The Conspiracy of Alcohol. And in that video, I basically shared my experiences in the past with alcohol, drinking it, and why I don't drink alcohol now. And I wrote a satirical article accompanying that, but in this video, I wanna share with you guys the other half of the reason why I don't drink alcohol, which are the financial reasons. So obviously on one side, you have the lifestyle or health aspects of obviously it's not necessarily good for your health to drink alcohol, but the other 50% for me is the financial aspect of drinking alcohol. And from the hundreds of millennials that I've actually interviewed over the years on alcohol, I've discovered that what's interesting is that for most people, alcohol is actually not a priority. In fact, for maybe less than 2% of the population is alcohol really a priority in their lives. And in this video, I wanna just draw the distinguishment between being strict and having freedom. And when I look at minimalism, what's really cool about minimalism is that it's, becoming, it's about becoming conscious and aware of all the possessions and distractions in your life and realizing which ones are actually important to you and which ones are not. And by cutting out all the distractions, all the clutter, all the objects that you don't truly love and enjoy, you become aware of that which you do really love and enjoy because it's the only thing that you have around you. In our society, in our world in general, we oftentimes are just engaging in unconscious behavior patterns that were set up for us by our family and our ancestors before us, and alcohol is definitely one of them. And I think that just how we use minimalism to cut out the objects that aren't important in life, I think that we can do the exact same thing with money. And from interviewing, again, hundreds of different millennials, what I found is that the majority of discretionary income for millennials goes towards drugs and alcohol, in eating out. And there's a third camp where some people do have a lot of like student loans or car debt or some kind of high level debt that does take up a lot of their discretionary income. But for the most part, it's eating out in drugs and alcohol. And again, I have no problem with that. And if you're watching this video and you're financially free and you love drinking alcohol, I think that sounds awesome. And I would continue going down that path. But for everyone else watching this video, the other 98%, this is something that you really want to consider. And the question that you want to consider is, what is actually important to me? What are my true priorities and values? And for myself, when I ask myself that question, it is so obvious and it's always been this way that the things that really inspire me, what I really, really, really want to do with my money is to travel, to move, to have the freedom of time and space to do what I want to do on this earth. And when I look back on all my brightest burning memories, it's always been me maybe in a foreign country or traveling or really pushing myself kind of on the edge. And those, that's what I really remember most in life and what I'm seeking most in life. And so I think if we stop spending money on the things that are not important to us, it makes us aware of what actually is important. And regarding alcohol, being strict, a lot of people view not drinking alcohol as being strict or stifled. And what I found again is from interviewing people, alcohol isn't actually an important priority. So when you ask people, why do you drink alcohol? Most of the time they say it's regarding other people. So for a lot of people, they'll say, oh, it's just been like kind of an unconscious habit that their parents have done, that they've always done. And they're kind of just doing it because everyone else has always done it around them. Some people say, oh, well, I like going out and meeting new people. And I'm concerned that if I'm out and everyone else is drinking, they're gonna think I'm weird if I'm not drinking or I only drink with my friends and I just do it because everyone else is doing it. So alcohol is usually, the reason why people usually drink it, it seems to always revolve around other people always drinking it and people just doing it because other people are doing it. It's actually not important to you. And what happens is when you're strict on the things that aren't important to you financially, you then have money for the few things that are important to you. And I think that when we look back on our lives, when we're on our deathbed, it's gonna be the things that are really important to us that we're gonna wish we had done. And for me, it's always been traveling. And I think a lot of other young people watching this video right now probably feel the same way. It's living an exciting life, doing what you love to do, traveling and enjoying yourself. And there's all this content out there that's money's not that important or forget about money or money's evil or this and that. 
And in reality, money is emotionless and money is a physical tool in this universe that we can use to live the life that we really want to live. So I highly encourage you to maybe take 30 days off from drinking alcohol and observe what that does for your health, for your finances, for your happiness. And the biggest like whole point of this entire video is to think for yourself. I don't think that we can underestimate the power of other people over us and of society and groupthink over our actions and behavior. And I think the main reason why people drink alcohol is again, it's not really that it's important, it's that it's an unconscious mindset and behavior pattern that they've always done and they're just continuing it because that's what everyone else does as well. So I encourage you to think for yourself and to do what is really important to you so that you can live the life that you really wanna live. Guys, I hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment with your thoughts, opinions, and feelings on alcohol as it relates to money. And for sure, hit the subscribe button because I make videos every single week on minimalism, meditation, spirituality, and discovering who you actually are. So if you like those subjects, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.